So how about this here game? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I think, you know, the year it came out, maybe it was uh, pretty amusing, like watching robots do this. I mean, yeah, it plays pretty much like every other baseball game I've played. But I don't know. I like the aesthetics of it, at least. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if baseball was actually played with robots, then, you know, I'd watch it more. Would you? I mean, maybe. I can't, I can't commit to that, but... Is that it? Is that it? Did we win? Did we lose? It, we're in the third or fourth inning. We're only in the fourth inning? There's nine, right? Yeah, there's nine innings. Oh, man. I don't know if I got a full game in me. Oh, that's a slow ball. Jesus. It's very high. Very high ball. I'm a high baller. By hauler. <laughs> so what, you never went to any like weird camps or anything when you were a kid? It was all no, just I, I went to the there board, was this normal <laughs> white kid shit. <laughs> There was this guy who always uh, advertised in the Ultra Star in uh, Crumble Valley, Curtis Swanberg. He'd always be like up on the the pre-show advertisements. I, I went to his camps. Is that a public dude? Like, do we got to bleep that name or? Is it a? Like, is that a? He dude has that... public. Cam he's had public camps since like our entire okay, lives. Okay, all right, all right. It's, it's not just. Just need to know, like, if it's a private dude who doesn't want his name <laughs> blasted on the internet. He's like, freaking, he's all over San Diego. He's okay. like San all Diego right. famous. All right. He's all a right. staple. Hey, I'm just trying to, just trying to keep our channel in business, my friend. <laughs> Went to science camp. That uh, I, even I would have liked science camp. Yeah, you just did like experiments and stuff, and then you like it was like out uh, in like an open to do experiments. <laughs> it was like out in an open like park though, and like you know your parents just like dropped you off each day. Yeah. And then this uh, you know kind of larger alpha kid, he was just like, oh, oh, we're gonna make our own group inside the science camp called the Dirty Birds, and, and we're gonna be a gang. And the it's Dirty gonna be, Birds. It's gonna be super cool. And then you know our. Symbol's gonna be who? Who? Sorry, what? That's that's how you know you're part of the gang, cause like you're like who? Who? And then the okay. And then I was I I didn't like. So it was really, like the gang sign. I, I was like, like an owl? I wasn't like yes or no. I was just like okay, you know, okay, that sounds uh, all right. Sounds all above board. And then and then he's like, <laughs> oh, we're we're all in trouble now. What? I didn't do anything. Oh, we, you can't start gangs in science camp. So Gangs? He called it a gang. He was like, there's no gangs. I'm like, what do you mean gang? You just said it was a group. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> so wait, he sold you on it being a group and it was actually a gang or vice versa? I think they either he... Or he just used the word gang and didn't realize it's used, associations. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the counselors were like, oh, there's no gangs. Which I don't know if it was a real rule on that or whatever, but we were in trouble. Well, I mean, gangs are generally frowned upon, but I mean, you know, there's different types of gangs, I suppose. Mm. Oh, man. Crushing defeat. <laughs> but one thing, one bad thing about that park was it was like always full of uh, yellow jackets. And they'd always just like climb into your fucking socks and then you just like... <sighs> Feel your ankle get pricked, and you're like, ah! And then somebody would run up to you and was like, Are you allergic to bees? Are you allergic to bees? Like, no. What, what, what does it mean if you're allergic? What? You don't know if you're allergic? I don't know. I've been stung before. I'm not dead. What happens? What happens if you're allergic? I'll tell you what happens. You, uh, you're in a ver the funeral of a very sad 90s movie <laughs> with, uh, um, uh, I, I can't remember my girl's name. <laughs> the movie My Girl? The Yeah, the actress that played... Uh, Anna Chlumsky? Is that what it was? I, I don't know. I, I could, couldn't tell you. But yeah, that's what happens when you're allergic to bees. You, uh, you become Macaulay Culkin in a coffin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, we're only five innings. This is one of the reasons I hate baseball. It takes like nine years to play a single game. I mean, playing and like watching a game is like much more dynamic than this, though. This is just like too robotic. <laughs> ah, on brand. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are, you, what are you trying to say? We're not making good content here. It's the game. It's not us. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good way to look at it philosophically. <laughs> We're not the games we play. We <laughs> we didn't crash five times <laughs> while trying to play Vader. <laughs> I mean, still still hecking upset at uh, Oculus or ILM or Lucas or whoever is responsible for that. I don't game. think Oculus is responsible. I mean, they got to quality check these things, don't they? Like, they that's one of the reasons the uh, Oculus Quest store is so heavily curated. Mm. What What is happening? Oh. Oh, they did some kind of, like, robot power-up. They did? Like, that yeah. wasn't you? Yeah, because I'm pitching right now. Huh. Weird. How do you hit a home run in this game? Is it just luck? You no, it's it just, it's just the, the right spot. Yeah, it's the timing. See, that's did it. Run. And that's them. I'm still pitching. Oh damn it! I gotta be actually manning the field. That's <laughs> another reason I hate baseball. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, fine. Do your power up. What are you <laughs> thinking about surf camp? You went to surf camp? You never went to surf camp. No. Look I mean, at me. I would just sink. <laughs> you could surf. <laughs> no. It was like, I wasn't very good at it. It was like two years, I think it went. And then there was like junior lifeguards also. But everybody cool was in junior lifeguards. And they had like, came to school with their junior what? lifeguards. <laughs> yeah, all the cool kids. All like, the all cool kids were junior lifeguards? Yeah. What school did you go to? Earl Warren. Oh, that that's, that's, sounds about right. Kids in Carmel <laughs> Valley went too. They had nah. the sweatshirts also. You just don't remember them. Nah. The only if you were a cool kid in Carmel Valley, if you uh, if you mercilessly bullied me. <laughs> I see. That's a that's a good barometer. <laughs> Good litmus <laughs> test. I mean, if I'm lying. Hey, hey you want to be in the Dirty Birds? <laughs> oh, what do I need to do to get in? Oh, it's easy. You, you just make bully fun that of this kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> you just bully this bagel nose? Oh, yeah, I do it every day. Ah, oh, you're our king. <laughs> bagel nose, by the way, is uh, the humorous nickname my Indian friend Ben has for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh... Yeah, that was the criteria for being a cool kid when I was a, when I was a kid. If mm. I'm if I'm lying, I'm crying. <laughs> and if I'm not lying, I'm still crying. Oh man, it's fine. I turned out okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of those, you know, might makes right people the things. Oh, build bullying builds character, but I mean, I guess it kind of did for me. I mean, and it was that one time he got to push that asshole kid down a uh, a hill inside a trash can at his request. Yeah, no, that was. <laughs> okay, well, now we got to tell that story. Um, so when I was in elementary school, there was this kid who uh, he was kind of like an on and off again bully for me. Like sometimes we were cool with each other. Sometimes he would join up in the group that was ganging up on me. This sounds like something I would never experience with anybody. What, you didn't have on and off, like, really climate-dependent friendships with anyone? No, like, they, the guys who were bullies, like, they were, like, pieces of shit from, like, first to sixth grade. I mean, I don't think that I had the same bullies, like, throughout elementary school. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, some, some came and went, some... 
were bullies for a little while, then became cool. Some started off cool and then became dicks. But, I don't know. Anyway, there was this, can you stop playing with the cup holders? I just, it's so tantalizing. But it might come through on the mic. Anyway, um, so yeah, there was this kid who I was, you know, kind of cool with, kind of not, depending on the day. And uh, one day I get to school, I had to have been in like third or fourth grade. Um, and it's at like the ass crack of dawn, it's like 6.30 in the morning. It was back when we actually had seasons in San Diego and it was like on the verge of snowing. It was so cold out. And uh, I get to school and I walk through the quad and we always had these like big plastic trash cans that um, we just filled with PE equipment. And I get up to the quad and this kid had emptied out one of them and he was like in the process of getting inside it. And I just happened by at just the right time. He's like, hey, Johnny, Johnny, come here. And I'm like, all right. And I walk up to him. He's, I'm like, what's up? He's like, all right, I need you to tip this trash can over and you got to roll me down the hill. <laughs> Keep in mind that uh, the quad here, it had uh, two offshoot ramps that were like maybe 50, 75 feet long that descended down to the playground. And then there was maybe another 50 feet of blacktop and then a even deeper like green grass hill that led onto like the baseball diamond and the it's running very, track and very stuff. Very hilly school. Yeah. So he thought that he was just going to roll down the ramp and then come to coasting to a stop on the blacktop. I had suspicions of otherwise, but, <laughs> but I wasn't going to pass up this opportunity. And you were basically just like, okay. <laughs> and it was requested of me. So like, all right, sure. <laughs> so I tip him over. He like tucks himself deep into the trash can, and then I kick him off, and he starts rolling, and very quickly picking up speed. <laughs> Did you he, say he was screaming the entire time? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He started screaming about 10 seconds after he started rolling <laughs> and did not stop until the end. <laughs> so he goes flying down this hill, just building up speed and like almost popped up a little bit at the bottom of the hill because there was like this, you know, this divot at mm -hmm. the bottom. So, like, I thought for a second he was going to go completely airborne and miss the blacktop. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He bounced on the blacktop, mm. kept going, and then continued down the grass hill. <laughs> didn't come to a full and complete stop for, like, probably a minute and a half. Minute and a half of just, like lightning fast spinning in a trash can <laughs> <laughs> finally he gets to the bottom of the hill and like the back of the trash can clips the dugout from the baseball diamond mm -hmm. and it just like shoots him out of it like a champagne cork <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still at the top of the hill so I'm just watching from a distance just astounded by this there's no teachers out or anything or oh, other no, kids like that, watching like everybody was just getting to school there was nobody around yet <laughs> oh my god like maybe two other kids saw this happen but <laughs> so he gets like champagne corked out of the trash can and then like struggles to his feet i'm just watching oh like this from a distance <laughs> and he gets up like breathes heavily for a couple seconds and then just just profusely projectile vomits all over the grass <laughs> for like another solid minute and I'm just watching like amazed <laughs> and then finally once he stops dry heaving he looks up and he just see spots me gives me a thumbs up <laughs> because you know that was that was how you how you kidded back then that that was how you did did the being of a kid you got into rambunctious, crazy situations. You risked injury. You got a hilarious story out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and not a single fucking inning of baseball needed to be had. 